option. So this may not look like much, but it is a huge improvement to our living situation. Now, the side of the house that we are living in is connected to the side of the house that we are renovating. And most importantly, it is connected to the toilet. So we now have internal access to our only toilet. Before, this was not weather sealed, so it was basically just open to the elements, um, apart from the shutters, and it was freezing cold in here while we waited for the um, these smaller windows on the side to arrive. So what it meant was this was basically like outside and cold, and we wanted to keep this side warm we have been using a camping toilet, which lives here under the stairs. And it's a great toilet. 10 out of 10 would recommend for camping. For camping, it's lovely. <laughs> As your main toilet, it is less than ideal. So this is just a huge, huge, huge improvement. Uh, you'll have to check in next week to see how it dries up when it goes properly crisp and white. Ready for our date? Our Brico date? Oh yeah! Alright, oh. <laughs> we're gonna whip in here and get you some gloves and we're gonna pick up a fresh tarp and then we can go and pick up some plasterboard. Pick up the ball. Yeah! Pick up the ball. Yay! What? No. Samash? No, it is. Merci. Oh, is that all they've got? Because those are busted. Well, it's... we can't buy that. No, but is there more up there? That's doublage, but it doesn't say if it's hydro. Damn it. I'm going to have to ask. It might be this. It's hydro. Where are you seeing? Oh, dip. <laughs> yeah, hydro. And all right, I so there is some. I don't know if it's thick enough. Ça c'est cassé, mais ça c'est hydro. C'est le même. Parfait, merci. You're gonna give me a hand. <laughs> I feel like it's definitely gonna rain. 
Look at those clouds. Like any second. Yeah. Yeah. Becca's mic failed here, but we've been married for nine years today, so I'm pretty sure I can guess what she was saying. Jack is just amazing. He's so good at renovating, and I especially love all of his dad jokes. Wow, look at his big strong arms. Glad we bought the tarp. Yeah. <laughs> Raining again. Raining. All right. We made good time. You want to stop somewhere for coffee? Yeah. Oh, I actually don't want to stop. No, I don't think we can stop. Oh, damn. Oh my god, I feel like they're all just going to be soaked through. It was blue skies when we left. At the back of all that flooding is the Charon River, but it's not supposed to be on all the fields. One of the first pieces of advice that you see in all the Facebook groups and everything about how to buy a house in France, it's like, see where you want to buy in winter. <laughs> Jack and I were talking about this the other day, and we said that if we had have seen our house in winter in the area and how flooded it gets, we would not have bought it, like, not in a million years. We would have not like, if we had to swim to a viewing, no. We would have just run as fast and as far as possible. And, I mean, this might be in line with our tradition of thinking all our mistakes are genius, but we love our house. Yeah. And I think, like, I think we can be comfortable with the amount of flooding that happens because it doesn't come in the house. Even when it's really, really bad, it doesn't come in the house. Yeah. Um, so we can look at it in kind of awe, but not terror. Yeah. Um, and we can enjoy being here in summer because it is just the best being this close to the river. Is this the best stuff to be using? I kind of hate polystyrene. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hate it too. I'm not a massive fan of polystyrene. I know it's really not great for the environment. Uh, and I had to think about that. I had to think about lots of things when like, we chose what we were going to use to insulate this place. The major thing we had to think about was the moisture. Mm. Because in winter here it gets so wet. I mean, you've seen it. The river comes up and these walls they don't have a damp barrier like a timber frame house, you know? So, you know, like the damp can come in and mold can grow and it can become really unsafe. So our major concern is obviously our kids being safe and healthy and warm and not getting sick. And then also the best thing that we can do in here to be eco-friendly is to reduce the amount of power that it costs us to heat it and cool it. Mm. Yeah, it's a big trade-off, you know, because there are other materials that might have been better, but by the time you ship them here from another country, like there's the eco-friendly yeah. impact gone. Yeah. So, oh, it's so hard, isn't it? It is. But one good thing is that this is all, all the waste I'm packing up separately, and at the Deschetterie they have a special area just for polystyrene. It doesn't go in the landfill. Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah, because it's horrible if it gets in the landfill, or, you know, the rivers or anything like that. Yeah. So the, this and the plasterboard oh, okay. as well, that all gets processed separately. So oh. I feel better about that. Yeah, I mean, maybe there is a, a better solution that I just don't know about. Like, leave a comment if there is something better. This is going in the bathroom, but we have to insulate the rest of this space. And I have not purchased anything for that yet. If there's something better, tell me, absolutely. I'd love to hear about it. I'm going to have to cut it in half.
there is a tiny line of nails that's still sticking out of there from when all of the panelling was attached. None of them came out, they're little brand nails. And they're in the way now. So I have to pull all of those out. Eventually we'll get it in. very quickly became a nighttime project um, so I'm going to try and get at least one more sheet of plasterboard before it gets too late and the glue dries. Alright, calling that a successful dry fit. Now we had one minor disaster. Um, I said before that I was really hoping I could get this up before the glue dries. You can see where this is going. All of these things take longer than you'd expect, uh, as always. Uh, I was checking the glue every sort of 15 minutes and it just didn't seem to be changing. I was like, oh, I bet you last way longer than two hours. This will be a breeze. <laughs> and then I just checked it. It's, uh... Now that things are moving ahead nicely with the bathroom, we took a trip to Leroy so that we could start checking out tiles and some of the other finishes that we're going to need. Ooh, tiles, ooh, good start. Look, 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 this is what I want. Oh, that's easy. Which one? You picked one already? Yeah. Oh, really, that dark? Yeah, like that. Or something lighter, but it's too light. That one. Which one? The center one? Mm. It's too light. What about that one? Yeah, that's nice. Can we see them next to each other? Well, I'm glad they actually have what we were after. I was we hoping they had bigger tiles though. Bigger? Yeah. Bigger than that? Yes. Really? Yeah, and I'll tell you why. Because if we had the, if the tiles were a little bit bigger, then they'd be as wide as the bath is. Right. So then for the head and the foot of the bath, those yeah. walls. Oh, just one tile. They would just be like, bop. But basically like two tiles to the centre, there'd be no seams, oh, which would just be such a good finish. I was really hoping for bigger tiles, so I think we should keep looking. I don't know if they do bigger tiles. Or we could have feature. <laughs> what do you mean feature? Like different tiles, smaller oh, ones. Oh, like small ones along the edge or something? Yeah, like, like they, this is quite nice. No, it isn't. I like this. A strip of that. So like big tile and then a strip down the edge of little tile. You might oh. be onto something. No, not what you were thinking. <laughs> no, I was just thinking a full wall of this. Oh, no. 
can you hold that white tile? Yes. That little white tile next to this. Absolutely. So we can see what it looks like. Look yeah, like it would that. have to have a grey, it would have to have this grey colour grout, as grout. Yeah. I think that's really nice. I think you're right. Do you like that? I like yeah, that. Yeah, I think it looks cool. I do like the idea of a border. And then you think this on its own for the splashback. No involvement yeah. from this. No, because we're going to have the grey uh, sink, the concrete sink. Are we doing that still? I thought I might have got out of the make a concrete sink job. I'm okay. so excited about this. Okay, cool. Should we have a look at some sinks? Maybe. Yeah. It's a good idea, just in case. Yeah. Okay, so we like this. So do we want to write this down? Yes, I will write this down. I will make note of everything here. Um, we can That's beautiful. Look tile. at some sinks. That's really nice. Do you like that? Yeah, I do. And the fact that it's just the right height to do like two of them with a single yeah. seam yeah. is great. But honestly, the fewer tiles that I have to put on, the fewer grout lines that I have to do, yeah. the better. Yeah. I feel good about it. Cool. Lovely textures here. This is cool. Cool texture. This one. Sinkity, sinkity. No, no, no. Taps. We need, we need a nice tap. I want like mismatched green ones or like <laughs> yellow and pink. I'm just not. Alternating. You don't do long-term colour choices. I really quite like like this. But I'm, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> of everything the terracotta. on this wall. You want the, I quite like that, yeah. like little handles or something. Nice and the green too. The green's not bad actually. Yeah. It's an I don't know, I feel like this is very 70s actually. Oh, it's coming you know? back, hey? But then, yeah. Whatever, whatever we do, we can't help but be like, oh, someone's going to walk in in 20 years time and be like, what were they thinking? That just doesn't concern me at all. <laughs> it's going to be me in 20 years time. Do you like this shape? Yeah, I like that shape. Yeah? What do you think about this one? <laughs> Kill me now. <laughs> so that's, that's nice. Stone. The circle stone. Yeah. But that, I like the colour and I don't really like the shape. No, I don't dig the rim. But I like the texture or the concept. There's the mirrors, babe. Look. Oh, we could get a squiggly one. A squibbly, like a blob. Yeah. Oh, it's got buttons on it as well. Yeah. Well, that one would fit. Yeah. That, one. that would look really nice. I don't know if I can commit to the... <coughs> to the blob. Yeah. Today is basically the last day that I have to get this in so that I can still be kind of on track with where I want it to be this week. So I've got to cut this last piece. I have to take the toilet out again, which is unfortunate. I'm going to not mix the glue until everything is cut and ready this time. This is taking a long time. <laughs> My god, I thought this was drained. Now I gotta take it off, put some glow on. Perfect! It's a real satisfying texture this. It's really fun to put on the blobs. And then they get like smooshed flat and spread out. It was better with the bigger trowel, I'll be honest. 
Oh, what was that? Oh, that's right. I was holding it up with a piece of wood. The beauty of this is that I don't have to fix any of these mistakes because plastering is your area. Oh, don't worry, I'll fix this. It looks much worse than it is because there's going to be a piece that comes out here and then we just have a little wee gap that I fill in, patch up, like it will be absolutely invisible, I promise you. We'll probably end up putting a nice frame around this corner anyway. Okay, well why don't we just do that? This little fun bit. Oh, you've got a piece for it. Oh, that was fun. Like a puzzle. Yay! <laughs> oh man. Doesn't this feel more like a room? Man. Yeah, it sounds better too, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Echo. Oh, it doesn't echo anymore. There's no. still echoes out there. Oh, nice. I'm so hungry. When's dinner? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit gutted about how this edge has turned out. Like, I know it's totally flexible and it's going to be covered up by the door frame when that gets, you know, the trim put around it. But man, everything else has been going, you know, so well in the end. There's, there's been struggles along the way. Things have always worked out at least looking nice, you know. Um, this is a real big bummer. Um, but uh, I'm trying not to think about it too much. And just, I'm, I'm really stoked that this next step is done. The whole bathroom has plasterboard and insulation and it is ready to go it's ready for the next step you know we get to actually start the, the finishing touches in here getting the tiles on getting the paint on getting the fittings in and pretty soon a bath um so it's all go there's just because it's like unlocked the next level um this step getting it out of the way now we can really keep going and i couldn't be more excited i think that maybe i have an idea to deal with all this polystyrene waste 